So second test with a stick to really get very close. Again, uh, turning on. That's a bit. <laughs> Stop it. First test it with a microwave. Oh, it has turned off. And it's smelling. Uh, so the cooling did not work. Yeah, that's also. Uh, I guess this one is dead. Uh, shame. <laughs> that's 60 euro. Uh, okay, this consumable is, but uh, okay. But as I said, <laughs> luckily I already bought a used one, uh, a bit cheaper. So 300 watt really needs a, a really big blower. My solar cooling box uh, nearly finished, but I have continued taking here apart, installing a second set because you see the first one. <laughs> And this time I've kept here the tem uh, temperature switch and added a second switch where it should be the hottest area because the airflow here is uh, around it and outlet here. Uh, that's from the electric heating. Uh, but uh, so both in series, so if one of them fails, uh, the system is shut off. I've replaced uh, this cooler with, uh, well, it's still only 11 watt, so you see I w might really need a 100 watt blower. So, uh, but this time I <laughs> dream that it will shut off before it, it melts. And so uh, put it in here and run another test. Yes, I turned off my inverter to go back to the uh, grid. This uh, might, don't know why, but it could be so. Okay, uh, let's start it. But this time I can get closer. So you see here at the leakage, it's a bit more, I think five milliwatt uh, per square meter. That's... Okay, I will now run back and uh, stop it uh, to to see the heating inside. This already looks successful again. Hot. Yeah, and don't touch the, the capacitor. So, okay, it's not warm at all. So I can continue with, with a longer test. Ah, the sun does. So, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and it gives a sound, that's least five watt, but only uh, when you are ready, where right is the leakage, maybe here, should, could be a leakage again, yeah, but already you see 10 centimeters away. So does work and this is uh, a three meter and 60 centimeters long and I have already some uh, some wood that would fit inside I smell a bit of uh, wood so I will stop it don't touch the capacitor so I now might already I start filling here with two two piles of, of locks so that and, and with here at build some some wheels to the side so that I can pull it uh, here with a opening and, and pull the, the power cable uh, this thing through slowly through the entire microwave over. Yeah, that was two minutes. Okay, so let's make uh, three minutes. Uh, Oh, I did hear some clicking noise, so... Okay, and you see, I don't really have to go there. I can pull the plug here. Okay, it's 55. Uh, and here's the transformator. 56. 58. 60. Uh, I mean, that's... Maybe low, where? Yeah. Uh, 
it's 107 so yeah indeed you see the magnetron is getting hottest now at distance uh, I have put a bit of water, a cap of water inside to see if it heats up and yeah, I, I should do some animal experiment, put this inside, uh, the three centimeter deep inside some wood to see if this bug will survive, but uh, I love every human being, human animal being, so I, I, I don't really want to do that, so just wait. Uh, 60 seconds and see if this thing has warmed up and yeah i must confess a bit of headache i guess it's psychosomatic so uh just the fear of of, of getting something uh, it's cold you see a small bit of water half full 700 watt will immediately uh, dissipate over the entire volume and therefore uh, it might uh, not really affect uh, do, do much effect. This is still cold. Okay, it's not really cold but it's not warm either. Build a new housing and I have to, it's, it's starting to, to, to rain. <laughs> so I will make the talk later. And there's 100, uh, one milli, 100 milliliter of water inside, and I use the old, uh, the old one, as a microwave oven. So uh, it's it's very leaky. So don't. So I will run it for exactly 30 seconds. So it starts at uh, right now. I see 67, 7 milliwatt, 30 milliwatt. So uh, let's go back. And wait for the 30 seconds to end. That's right now. Uh, because uh, the temperature was about uh, third in degree when I entered it and where is it and so it's that it's smelling it's smelling again like a uh, molten plastic uh, so what's the temperature at 32 uh, so and now I will <laughs> go inside <laughs> to wait for the rain to end I have to show you the, the new setup here, these uh, two fans, and uh, this did not get hot. It's the old microwave oven, there's a lot of uh, melted stuff inside, so that's where the smell uh, came from. Uh, so again, 100 milliwatt, milliliters, it was 13 degree in the beginning. And it heated up to 50, uh, 50 degree. I have uh, turned it around, so this is now the cool side, and so it's working as a, a heat pump. Uh, and as it's only 30.6, I can test this as while I'm talking. So you see, uh, I have uh, put this to the top. And so, uh, okay, I need to turn on my internal inverter. Uh, and so, uh, okay. This is now the dehumidifier mode. And so the fan is uh, starting uh, and, and stopping. Uh, I'm still waiting for a temperature a switch because these uh, thermistors I, I got for and but the uh, uh, so hysteresis probably will not work. Okay, I want to conclude this video. I'm making little progress with my huge microwave oven. With some simple calculations on, on, on heat capacity and, and so to, to get a feeling of, of what you're doing so it might 
also be helpful if you do some kind of heating project. Uh, first thing is, as I said, 100 milliliter of water and the heat capacity of water that's 4.2 kilojoule uh, per kilogram per Kelvin. And so you, if you would heat uh, one kilogram of water with 4200 watt, then per second it would uh, temperature would raise by one degree Celsius. That's one degree Kelvin, that's the same. Uh, because uh, power is a joule per second, so if you just always calculate per second, then it's, it's quite easy to, to go from joule to, to, to watt. And there was is 100 milliliter of water inside, and so it's a tenth. So 420 watt would be needed uh, to to heat this small thing uh, per second uh, by one degree Celsius. A uh, starting point was, I think, 13 degree or five minutes later, and 15 degree, and it, I think the end was about 30 degree. It was should be 700 watt, a brand new. Uh, magnetron and, and and so you see it's almost a double of this 420 watt so it should raise per seconds by two degree and so 30 seconds uh, by two degree would be 60 seconds so i should have ended something like uh, nearly 100 degree uh, or 50 60 and it only ra did raise by 15 degrees celsius uh, so uh, don't <laughs> The question now is where did the uh, huge power gun? That's why I did the test with uh, 800. Started again with 50 degree, uh, 13 degree cold water. And, and so this was also uh, 30 seconds. And, and so uh, <laughs> there's uh, some uh, power missing. And um, that's the one thing. The, but the main thing is uh, the cooling. Uh, because as, as you see, I, I added two big one, uh, 20 watt um, cooling fans, one to push inside and one to suck outside. Uh, now here, uh, so what, what temperature do we get here? Uh, 26, 25, and it's still 30.5. But you see it's uh, always starting and stopping, it's not perfect. They are set to, to push 50 liter per second. Nice, always sec also seconds. So 50 liter, that's a 20th of a cubi cu cubic meter. And the heat capacity of air is about one kilojoule. So 1000 watt. And uh, a cubic meter is density is 1.2. So a cubic meter would be 1.2 kilo uh, gram of air and the um, capacity what 1000 uh, joule so it's 1200 joule uh, that uh, would be one cubic meter it's but only a 20th so it's uh, 1200 uh, divided by 10 it's 120 divided by 2 that's 60 so the air uh, going through uh, could take 60 uh, joule uh, of energy or you could heat it with 60 watt uh, per second and the temperature of the air would rise by one second and uh, this is uh, 700 watt uh, microwave uh, 300 watt heat so efficiency about 700 watt because it's written on it's 1000 watt electrical input but only 700 watt <laughs> microwave output so 300 watt uh, so about uh, six, um, 60 watt will raise the temperature by one degree so five degree for one magnetron, I plan to put in three of them, so it would be 50 degrees Celsius, uh, 15 degrees Celsius, that uh, the air would uh, ri rise, and so this is okay. So this, um, I, I'm confident to to now let it really run for, for a longer time, uh, and maybe even um, at the second or even the third uh, to the 200, 240 AC. <laughs> You see, I could uh, run a 2000 watt on, on this, this uh, normal AC cable. Putting all three, I, I plan to use three phase, but I don't have a three phase uh, socket here. I would have to install it or, on, on top. But um, 
Uh, that's it. Uh, the the, the back of, big of, big of fans. Uh, the question where <laughs> where is uh, all the uh, microwave going? Because you see, I cannot detect it uh, outside. Uh, here with this uh, very leaky uh, metal box beside, it uh, was quite a big of, but it's still milliwatt uh, per uh, per square centimeter. So I might uh, need some test equipment. Um, Perhaps indeed a small temperature sensor with a small water bubble, so you can uh, share some ideas how to make 100% sure that this is safe. Uh, because again, this uh, it's milliwatt per square meter. That's only a heating cap capacity. So um, if if you have uh, water and you, as I just said, you see milliwatt, uh, if you have uh, inside your brain, it's one kilogram of, of water, so it's un, impossible to heat up the brain. But if this radiation is able to penetrate the, the entire head, then it, uh, there might be some, uh, some cell which has some uh, structure, uh, some proteins, uh, s some neural uh, uh, structure which uh, might be perfect to the frequency and therefore resonate perfectly uh, better than the hydrogen added atoms. And so it might uh, suck in, uh, might uh, take in more uh, energy. Uh, than this uh, simple um, five milliwatt, and, and so it's. Uh, they always say, "Oh, it's radiation safe because it's only a few milliwatt," but they only say to, to heat up, uh, heat up something. But uh, the special structure of a cell might uh, allow for, for for more damage to be done. Uh, again, I don't think. <laughs> And this will immediately cause headache only because I put in the plug and let it run for 30 seconds. Uh, but um, it's 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 still a bit of an adventure. Okay, 14.2, uh, but it's uh, feeling uh, warmer here. Uh, and here's the air coming outside. You see, it's blowing with uh, two, 26, 28, 30 degree, uh, and so. Uh, I think the power uh, it needs is only something like 200 uh, watt, um, but it's the end BMS is on the smartphone. It's quite loud, uh, so I really need uh, this normal cooling mode with this outside switch, which I could put somewhere here uh, to to really set the temperature and also the, because in the cooling mode I have a different speed uh, mode for the van fan and. Yeah, that's it. And <laughs> ah, my microwave oven <laughs> making some progress.